Hi students, this is Rakesh Talreja and I welcome all of you to Om Institute YouTube channel. Yes guys, while gate preparation, you know, many students keep searching and keep asking us about what can be the best reference book, especially if a student is a self-study student, he or she properly needs the correct guidance. Okay, you may spend a lot of time reading books. Of course, stand, reading standard books take time. Okay, and especially if you don't select the correct set of book, okay, that could be a big time waste for you. Okay, so, you know, especially for self-study students, it is important to know the set of good standard books and even for other students who are already taking some classes, offline classes or online classes, they also need to know some good books, especially for problem practice point of view. You may not, you may not be looking for concept, okay, but you may be especially looking for problem practice because, you know, one set of problem practice is from PYQs, but other than PYQs, you have to, you know, to be in the top zone, you have to practice some, you know, different questions as well, okay, and which you can get from some good standard books, okay. And at the same time, you know, you know, for, for very, 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 very important topics, you can also refer to the standard books. Okay, so that is what, so, so for some purpose or the other, the motive is you need, uh, you know, standard books and if you need them, okay, what is the best one, okay, for a particular subject that you should know. So in this particular video, I am going to brief out the best standard textbooks for GATE for EC and Tripoli branches, right? Okay, let's get started immediately. And uh, first one, let me start with control system. Of course, let's let's go through common subjects of ECWE first of all. So control system, I'll be giving you two reference. And number one, if you want uh, good content in a very simple language, okay, the book by Ogata. Okay, K. Ogata, okay, has good set of concepts. At the same time, it's easy going, it's easy, easy to understand, but lovely concepts are there. Okay, and then if you talk about, you know, a book, which again has beautiful concepts, especially for topics like Nyquist plots or error analysis or even state space analysis, root locus, especially these areas, the book that I find very, very good, okay, is the Benjamin Quo. And not only for Nyquist, root locus or error, but it is actually indeed a very good book for the entire syllabus of GATE. Uh, Language-wise, relatively Ogata may be more simpler, but this is also simple only, even a fresher can begin to it. But the more important point is, Many of the gate previous year questions you may find motivated from this book. Okay, many of the previous year questions, okay, are motivated. I mean, you know, taken from examples of this particular book and converted to the MCQ or NAT or MSQ format. Okay, so that is why, you know, if you want to go, because for a stand, for a book, for a subject, student cannot go for multiple books. So if you want to choose one particular book, it's Benjamin Kuo, my personal choice. Although Ogata is also very good if you have been following or if you have Ogata. Okay, absolutely, no doubt into that. Okay, moving ahead to the next subject here, network theory, I think one book I will say and that covers up everything. Okay, the concepts, each and every concepts. Okay, the questions from basic level up to the advanced level as required uh, for the gate preparation and that book is by Sadiku. Yes, guys, the fundamentals of electric circuit, okay, by Alexander and Sadiku. Okay, sufficient. So, I don't need to give you any second option for that. You can rely for a complete network theory for this. Of course, there are other options as well. Okay, you know, in college time, many students even refer to the books like, uh, you know, Chakravarti or even uh, Welkenberg also is a good book. Okay, if, if I come back to foreign authors also. But, uh, you know, if in talks of ease of understanding, okay, well, Welkenberg may not be comfortable for especially freshers. Okay, but this is even comfortable for fresher students, the book by Alexander and Sadiku. Okay, so that is why I kept it as a single choice here. Although the problems in Welkenberg are also very good. Okay, now coming to signal and system, as I'm telling you, let's cover up the common uh, subjects for ECWE first. So here it is, okay, my one-stop choice. Of course, you can even take up, uh, you know, some Indian author books, very fundamental books like, uh, you know, Ramesh Babu or the book by Anand. Okay, uh, they are very easy and they also cover up the gate syllabus. Okay, but if you really want to have questions and concepts matching the gate level because, you know, in signal and system, okay, especially two, three areas, let me name you, number one, Fourier transform, then Z transform, sampling, these are some areas where good questions are being produced, okay. If not every year, but yeah, you know, in some year, okay, in every year, maybe a good question is there from Z or from Fourier or from sampling, at least one good question one or two good level questions you get from signals. Sometimes even many questions are good, but at least one or two good questions always you get from signals, especially from the topics I'm mentioning. Okay, otherwise fundamental part, convolution part, all that is easy. Okay, you can manage it up. Okay, and for EC especially, okay, DFT produces a good question every year. Okay, so you know, my best choice is signal and system by Oppenheim and Wilski. Okay, covering up everything. Okay, uh, not a difficult, I will not say very easy language, but not at all difficult also. If you are really know the basic maths, na, 
I, I'm not talking about basic signals. If you are very you know, clear with the basic maths also, very basic maths, this book will be very comfortable for you. But I'm telling you the level of question is perfectly as what is required by the gate. Only that, only DFT will not be found in this book. Okay, you can find Z-transform, DTFT, even up to DTFT is there. Everything about discrete signal is there. DFT is uh, not there in this particular book. And for DFT, you may either refer some YouTube videos or, you know, whatever classes are following. Or if you especially want book, you can go for the DSP. Okay, by Prokis. Now, this DSP can be used for the complete digital signal uh, understanding, like discrete convolution also, or even you can uh, go for DTFT and Z-transform for this book. But again, I prefer follow one book. Okay, only DFT is not this. So for DFT, you can refer another book. That is a DSP by Prokis. So for rest, all the topics, I prefer this one. FFT is now no longer in the gate syllabus. So, I am specifying DFT. Okay, so guys, that's what. Moving ahead to the next one that is digital circuits coming to the fundamental book you might have known you might have heard you might have used in semesters morris mano it's good even for gate also for basic understanding of the concepts of digital logic okay so that is what so my choice here is morris mano okay uh, but i believe the problems see uh, if i talk about questions of digital okay the questions of number system boolean k maps or even up to combinational or any way simple in the gate also. Many students are able to deal with that. But where do you want good problem practice? Sequential circuits part, you know, latches, flip-flop, counters, FSMs, and then going to the data converters, ADC, DSC. So the good problem practice part will be missing in this book. For concepts, it is very good. But if you want good problem practice, okay, you may take up PYQs or if you have some workbooks or handouts given by your institute, that is also fine. But if you want really good problem practice, okay, Fundamentals of Logic Design by Charles Roth. Okay, very good problem practice. I actually found this book during my master's. Okay, uh, you know, the advanced digital uh, course we had, digital system design using FPGA. So there, you know, this book was recommended. Okay, but many topics are gate topics here. Okay, so especially if not, but especially for the problem practice of sequential circuits, you can refer to it because sequential circuit definitely produces question for you and many a times good question also. Okay, so especially for this, including, you know, the concepts of setup time, hold time, everything you will find here. Okay, so for concept learning, you can refer more. Even concepts are good here, but if you want easy concept learning, modest menu and here this can be good for question practice. Okay, and if you know basic digital, you can directly take up this book for concept also. Okay, this also has concept, but only thing is Morris Manu will find easy language. That's the difference I want to tell. Okay, now EMFT. Okay, uh, again, uh, you know, I'll, I'll refer two references for it, but if you want the comp almost complete, I'll not say complete, but almost complete coverage of the gate syllabus, but in an easy manner. Okay, so principle of electromagnetics by Sadiku. Okay, you know, all self sufficient book. Okay, you just read the content of it, including the solved problems, okay, and then definitely take up, you know, test series and PYQs. I think this is sufficient for EMFT. Okay, uh, only few topics are there which may not be found in this particular book are like circular waveguides. That is the newly introduced topic only 2021 onwards that is introduced. Optical fibers will be there, but, you know, no, not into a good extent. Okay, circular waveguide you will not find at all. Okay, antenna will not be very advanced here. Okay, but as per the, you know, level of questions I see in antenna and gate, this can be sufficient. Okay, this can be sufficient. But, you know, for antenna, this is not a dedicated book, although I will say, but this has what is required by gate. Okay, so, uh, you know, that is what, um, then then other topics like, you know, uh, wave, circular wave guide, especially I'm telling optical fiber and even for advanced problem. Now, if somebody feels that they have enough time, they are good in EMFT, but they want advanced problem practice. Okay, the book by David Chang can be very good for you. Field and Wave Electromagnetics by David Chang. This can be a good book. Okay, especially for problem, advanced problem practice. Okay, so uh, this one also has problem practice relevant to the gate level, but some more advanced problem practice can be taken from David Chang. Okay, chalo. Going ahead to the next, analog circuits. Okay, I, I think, you know, big subject, big syllabus. So, no need to wonder for multiple books. One book I'll tell you. Okay, you must have uh, read this at least in your semester also. Very, very famous book, Microelectronic Circuits by Cedra Smith. Sufficient. Okay, self-sufficient. Okay, uh, you know, for gate level preparation as well. Go through it completely, including the solved problem specially. Okay, if you have time, definitely manage unsolved problems, but at least the theory up to the solved problems, if you are able to deal, okay, you will be, you know, comfortable. And then other than that, you will have basic PYQ solving test series, that extra things anyways, you will do. Okay, so this Cedra Smith, a book by Cedra and Smith, okay, one and only sufficient book for analog circuits, no need to wonder here and there. I can give you multiple other references, but no. Okay, whether, you know, if you want to go for the BJT part or the FET part or the OPAM part, I think, okay, you can 
you can you know rely on this particular book okay coming to the next one edc okay so edc i'll i'll, I'll put two references here one is the book by streetman and banerji okay and another one is uh, the famous book the, Do the donald demon so if you want to start with little bit you know uh, fundamentals uh, basics you can go by streetman and banerji okay but uh, yeah this is definitely a fundamental book okay uh, as compared to it, okay, as I'm telling you, Streetman has little bit relatively easy language. But if you think that, yes, okay, you really want to study something, you know, whose problem level are matching, okay, uh, with the gate, the content is matching, matching with what really is expected in the exam like gate, then semiconductor physics and devices by the Donald Lehman. This is what I prefer to you. Okay, as I'm telling you, language may be slightly difficult. Slightly, it's not a very big difference also. So, if you can manage, I think uh, this book, Donald Demon, will be the best one for EDC. Okay, for the EDC. Moving ahead to the next, okay, communication systems. Okay, now, okay, uh, you know, I have started the core C. Up to the analog circuits, all subjects were common. Now, EDC and communication, this is EC core. Double E, guys, you wait. Uh, then I'm coming to power system and machines, etc. Okay, so the next core subject for EC, communication system, and if you want to study it in a good way, but an easier language, so BPLRT, Modern Digital and Analog Communication Systems by BPLRT. Okay, uh, okay, so fundamental book, okay, but still covering up good concepts, okay, good concepts are there. See, when I say, when I am telling you not only for communication, but for any other subject, when I am telling you this book is easy to understand, okay. I also at the same time equally mean that it is a good book. See, there can be many other easy books, many other Indian author books which are very, very easy, but they are not much relevant or much matching with the gate level preparation. Okay, so when I'm telling you easy, okay, but still at the same time, I mean it is perfect one for gate. Okay, that's what easy doesn't mean that. Okay, I, I can tell you many other easy books name also. Okay, so relevant for gate, but easy understanding. Okay, uh, but again, more, you know, if you want to see a correlation with the previous year questions, okay, what sort of, you know, previous year questions have been there in gate, okay, and the book, okay, that can match up your preparation, okay, in line with the previous questions is the communication system by Prokeys, okay, by Prokeys. This one can be a better choice for you. Of course, BPLRT for understanding will be more easy, but if you think you have basic knowledge, especially guys, if you're good in signals, especially if you're good in signals and maths, see, if you're good in signals, what I mean, if you're good in Fourier series and Fourier transform, analog communication will be easy for you. And if you're good in probability part, so you can start, you can go ahead with the digital communication as well, random variable, random process, you can approach. Okay. So if you're good in basic maths and basic signals, so then definitely for you, I will say pro keys. You can easily understand that. Okay. And the problem level here will definitely be, you know, fantastic. I mean, you know, matching with the gate PYQ level. So if you go through it, definitely, you know, you can expect. Uh, you know, the next year PYQ is not directly from here, but motivated from the content of this particular book. Okay. Even one more good reference is there. Okay. For communication system. That is the book by Simon Hackins. Okay. But little bit more advanced. Okay. Little bit more advanced. Okay. So yeah, that is also a choice if you directly want to start with the advanced book. Okay. But I think Prokeys. Okay. Good book. Or if you want really, if you think that communication, you want to start exactly from zero and you are little weak into it, then you can start with the BP light. It's accordingly, I'm giving you the choices as well. Okay. Okay. Coming to double E core subject, number one, machines. Again, huge subject is there, huge syllabus. So I will not uh, talk about multiple books here. Okay. A book uh, which is relatively simpler in language. Okay. The book by P.S. Bhimra. Okay. Indian author book, but good, good concepts are there. Okay. And even the problem level is sufficient uh, for tackling the gate questions. Okay. So uh, see, Again, now, when you come to core part, okay, whether it is like communication for EC or whether it is machines or power electronics for EE, anyways, relatively to the other subjects like control or network or digital, these subjects are more challenging, okay. So, you know, don't say that the book is, you know, when I say this easy means some people, uh, some students will find that even studying machines by PS Bhamra is difficult. Yes, you may find, but relatively out of the other books, this is the easier one. That's what I mean to say, okay. So, you know, but again, if you're good in fundamentals, like, you know, subjects like network or maths, if you're strong, good, na? okay, including EMF also, because some concepts of, you know, EMF also are used while you're studying machinery, the generator, the motor part. Okay, so if you're good in fundamentals, machine, this book will be easy for you. Okay, and it's it's from fundamental, even if you're fresh starting from scratch, okay, this book is good one for you. Okay, this one, this will be sufficient for you. Coming to the next one, power electronics. Okay, now one of the challenging subjects for electrical students, especially. Okay, so uh, conceptually, if you want to be really good in power electronics, okay, so Daniel W. Hart, okay, 
and w hard this book is sufficient okay you know for conceptual understanding and the questions level are also uh, appropriate and matching with what is expected by gate level examination at the same time if you want little advanced the book by ned mohan okay advanced for advanced concepts okay you can be using this book okay by mohan the ned mohan okay that is what is their power electronics but i think if you are following even one book that is the daniel hart okay i think sufficient for power electronics moving ahead to the next one power system another core one okay again huge syllabus when it comes to see machine or power system both are having huge syllabus okay so i lord know you know be referring uh, much textbook here but the book by stevenson one single book will be sufficient okay for all different concepts of power system okay for all different concepts of power system see although i am i'm i'm basically from ec i'm not from double e core but when i am referring to you any double e books i have taken uh, i've done the survey and i've taken suggestions from electrical faculties and then i am presenting these slides for you not just like randomly okay and coming to the last core subject which is a very less less weightage as per the current trends two to three marks uh, of measurement is expected okay one book is sufficient okay normally this is the book students refer in the semester also that is the book by ak shawni okay but i'll tell you measurement is a less weighted subject okay so you have to spend less time here but the problem with this book is it is good book but the problem is it has a lot of content and many things are there which are not in the gate syllabus and there are some things which are in gate syllabus but very rarely asked so because it is a subject which is having very less weightage so guys you should identify what are the areas okay which are more important and spend time over there okay rather than sp studying this whole book this whole book will not be required so only thing is you have to find out the syllabus okay you have to match the gate syllabus and only study those specific topic it has lot of extra topics also okay so yeah that's it all core subjects of ec double then common subjects are done that's it i hope you like the video if you really like the video do not forget to hit the like button and place anything in the comment box and if you need any such other videos like this one is on books okay uh, and etc if you need any other guidance okay you know one more video i'm planning for you ki like if you are preparing for gate what should be the sequence of subjects i've told you the book okay but normally what is the first subject and second subject what's your sequence that you should follow so such similar videos if you need if you have any other inputs do not forget to mention in the comment box we'll work on it okay so bye bye thank you keep enjoying your gate preparation and do not, do not forget to subscribe to the ohm institute youtube channel